We're here at Mac 2024. Welcome to the Make Tooling Solution Stand. We've got two brand new products to show you that are going to be reducing your bottlenecks. Now, Craig, we're going to start with this one. What is it? Sure. Morning. Thanks for coming on. Thank um, you. This is the uh, marking stamp. So it's a dot peening machine for traceability and for adding part numbers to parts that you might not want to do on your traditional machining. Yep. So it gives you full traceability through from the first cut or the first machine part all the way to shipping, invoicing and so on. And why is it important, important to have traceability on a, on a product from the, like the first point of cut? Yeah, I think it's one of those things where whenever an operator has something new and they've produced a part, there's a, a profit to that. And every time it doesn't go to the next point, it doesn't go to the right position, or it's welded back to front, then there becomes a cost to it. Yeah. And so traceability is everything in, in manufacturing nowadays. And uh, the mark and stamp um, machine is just beautiful for doing that. And why really is simple. it? How does it work? Yeah, it's very simple. So uh, you can run it from a, a smartphone. Uh, you can put DXFs onto it. You can then do your logo, or you can do your ISO numbers, or you can get full traceability with part numbers. You can also have sequential numbers. So if the numbers go up in, you know, uh, in single digits or double digits, it's just easily programmable. Absolutely. Very simple, very easy. Yeah, and I can see on the table here you've also uh, got like QR codes as well that you can you could scan with your phone, I guess. Yeah, that's to, right. To to get more information about the part itself. Yeah, absolutely right. At uh, at the stand, you can come on and you can download our catalogs using that QR code there. That's fantastic. Yeah. And how does this um, a dot peening machine that you attach to your phone, how does that work over kind of other other methods of, of, of tracing components? Yeah, so that you can obviously laser mark. You can, uh, if you're a laser subcontractor, you can, you can etch as you do it. Uh, it slows the machine down. There's more cost associated with a, a very expensive laser machine that you want to be running, cutting parts. You don't want it to be marking. When the operator's standing there, he can literally just pick it up etch it, move it on to the next uh, next stage. Yeah, absolutely. It's really important to be able to have these handheld tools to do part post-processing. So there's really expensive machines aren't being held up doing stuff that really absolutely. could do with, I guess this is cheaper than a big fat laser machine. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Brilliant. Okay, so moving on from this lovely orange product to another, you're very yeah. lucky with the branding here, a different orange product yeah. from a diff very different part of the world. Yeah. What is this? So this is the NKO product. So this is a handheld beveler. We do tabletop bevelers, but it's basically uh, uh, designed to, again, if you've only got a uh, uh, three axis machining center or you've only got a 2D laser cutter, you can actually then take the parts off, finish them off afterwards when the machine is running. So you get, again, the machines back up working as soon as possible. And in the meantime, the operator can be putting in a 45 degree chamfer on for a welding prep yeah. or a 30 degree for, for, for uh, cosmetic reasons. Yeah, absolutely. And why would someone want to be doing this off machine rather than on machine again? Why, why would they want that? Yeah, I think it's one of those things now with the cost of running machines and the cost of purchasing machines, you've got to keep them cutting. You've got to keep them milling as, as, as the majority of the job. When you've got other parts that you can take off the machine that you can then do your main machining or your main laser cutting, then the operator is standing there, they can quite easily do these parts very easily, very quickly. Yeah, absolutely. I can see there's lots of different kinds of uh, features you've got in here as well. It's not just 45 degrees straight chamfers, fillets as well. Yep. And how easy would that be to, to change over tools, to get yep. different features on the same kind of product, for example? Yeah, absolutely. So once you have the, the main machine, you can then just change the cutting tips to it for a 45 degree or a 30 degree. Uh, if you want to go from aluminium to titanium, you just go for the better quality uh, cutting chips. Almost like you do, do a, a cutting tool change exactly. on, the, on the machine tool itself. Exactly right. And what I find fascinating as well is not just, we've been talking a lot a bit about kind of sheet metal fabrication, which may obviously are very famous in that mm -hmm. area, yeah, yeah. which are these kind of products here would be kind of almost punched or, or laser cut. Yeah but you've got really big kind of almost yeah. machine products here as well. Yeah, again, uh, these are, you know, are decent sized billets. You can kind of laser cut that now with a higher quality, um, a higher kilowatts, but you do have to have the beveling head to it. So suddenly you've got another 200,000 pounds to spend on wow. what is already a very expensive machine. Yeah. Whereas something like this, you could just take it off the machine and just put the final bevel on it before you, you send it down with a part marking further down the line. Absolutely, so part marking, beveling, taking operations away from your expensive machine tools, saving you time and money, reducing your bottlenecks. That's Mac 2024 here at the Make Tooling Solutions Stand. Thank you, Craig. Thank you very much, Robert.